Welcome to the first in a series, Getting Started with Apache Ignite as an in-memory database. My name is Glenn Weeb. I'm a solution architect for GridGain Systems. Ignite and the extended GridGain platform is a clustered memory-centric data storage and computing platform. The Ignite core, shown here in red, provides in-memory data storage, computing, and a rich set of consumption APIs, including SQL, key value, compute, and service invocation, with ACID level transactionality, stream ingestion, event-based processing, and message-oriented semantics. GridGain, as a company, in addition to providing customer support and product stewardship, provides enterprise product features that I'm showing here in blue, gray blue, to deliver management and scalability, external system integration, backup and recovery features, as well as a host of other enterprise management and control features. There are a number of patterns that Ignite delivers. The basic caching pattern is also called an in-memory data grid. It's shown here, and I've given this the nomenclature a vertical pattern. Vertical because we have our database, traditional database at the bottom here, and our clients consuming that with SQL or key value at the top. And we've we put Ignite, we've, we slide Ignite in between the two to provide a caching solution that improves the performance of the traditional database while also still synchronizing our data with the underlying database. Today, I'm gonna to go over what I call a horizontal uh, pattern, which is the in-memory database. This pattern um, is characterized by a robust, full-featured, reliable database that has source systems like IoT devices, partner systems, feeding a central database, which is responsible for securely and reliably holding onto that data, supporting consumption through our various APIs, and with the strong compute capabilities is also able to provide event-based management and passing of those events to target systems upstream. So Ignite provides a clustered in-memory data store and computing platform. In broad strokes, it runs anywhere, bare metal, virtual machines, cloud, on-premise. The core of it, of the solution, is developed on these full-featured languages, but can be consumed and used by virtually any technology and la uh, language, whether it be SQL, JDBC, ODBC, REST, Python, Node.js, PHP, etc. So you want to get going, but how do you start? Well, starting an Ignite cluster is really the same as starting a node or many nodes, which can be done by running a script or running some code. This code may fully use the Ignite API, or it may be one line of code with an XML Spring Bean configuration injecting, injected into it. As we see in Java, that really is five or six lines of code to create a config, um, set up discovery for the cluster, start, create a cache, and then start to interact with it. If you're looking for help to get started, there are really two great resources available. The first is a huge repository of examples covering almost every core feature in Ignite. The other way is to use the GridGain web console, which is openly available for Ignite and GridGain customers, is available on-prem or uh, in the cloud. And this has a configuration wizard to guide you in building a tailored and well-patterned project for your needs, including importing existing databases. Again, in-memory database pattern, so you can use it like a regular database as such, SQL DDL scripts are available to you, and that's just normal ANSI 99 SQL as seen here. However, if you wanna take advantage of the broadest range of APIs, especially the computing capabilities, events, services, and machine learning, we'll wanna have a full object model available to those compute platforms. So in that case, using code, or Spring Bean XML configuration gives us that capability. In the rest of the series, 
we'll focus on the full featured approach to using code plus XML Spring Beans. And we'll jump start that by using the grid game web console to generate a code and config. You'll see how the web console import database wizard walks us through creating connections, introspecting those backend systems to quickly create and build a cache table configuration. And it'll also build out a full object model for future computing purposes like event and machine learning. In our demo, we'll follow these five steps to get started and deliver a working memory in-memory database using Ignite in 10 minutes. We're gonna import some source databases as a template. We're gonna adjust and build that project. We're gonna run that script. We're gonna load some of the data and then start consuming it with uh, various tools. So let's go to the web console, sign in, get started and create a cluster. Let's go.